وبركاته الو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام والإكرام أهلا وسهلا نيم ستيت أند كويشن بليز ممكن أحكي مع مع الشيخ إذا أمرت نعم تفضل يا أخي تفضل أخي الكريم أنا الدكتور هشام من ولاية أريزونا وحابب أسألك بتحب Would you like me to speak in English or in Arabic? Uh, please, Dr. Hisham, in English because the viewers are English speaking. So, if, please, English. Okay. Go ahead. Very good. Okay, like I said, I'm Dr. Hisham from the state of Arizona and I have been here almost all my life. And uh, uh, one thing is I would like to tell you is uh, about uh, the, the river, which is, uh, this is, this is, as you know, it's very, very prohibited in our Islam, alhamdulillah. Uh, but my question is, uh, how uh, many scholars in, in North America have already given like fatwa that uh, a family can borrow money from the bank with interest in order to buy a house because they pay in rent and that money is going uh, nowhere and uh, they are in the hand of the landlord and uh, not treating them well and if we muslim we want to go to college uh, and you don't have any money you have to borrow money to go to college and if you do not borrow money and as you know borrowing money at the end of the uh, four or five ten years of medical school or other school uh, you accumulated some interest okay i got i got your uh, your point your question uh, dr yeah. hisham my, my 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 main my main thing is to broadcast it through your beautiful uh, you know uh, show is to tell the people is this fatwa is okay, uh, to, okay for these people to go out and borrow money since uh, I mean I got it I got, I got it okay it, it's very, Allow, very important things to know allow me to answer Jazakallah uh, uh, would you kindly turn down the television because it's causing some noise here uh, our brother, uh, Dr. Hisham from Arizona, he's um, asking about the North America uh, uh, jurist uh, who given uh, a fatwa, a religious ruling regarding uh, uh, purchasing homes uh, in America uh, using uh, basically the uh, classical uh, system here, which is mortgage, uh, which is basically usury, riba. Um, I have addressed this issue uh, over and over in my show in more than one occasion and I have actually um, uh, furnished uh, the uh, evidence that this fatwa is out of line, uh, is not correct, uh, these jurists have reached the wrong conclusion. Uh, number one, they base the fatwa on two elements uh, which are not correct. Uh, element number one that America is uh, a land of war basically we are at war with America and there is a view uh, of the Imam uh, the school of thoughts of Imam Abi Hanifa that you could do unlawful transactions with someone uh, against whom you're fighting or so forth uh, I say to them uh, I'm very sorry I'm not at war here I live here uh, America is my country, I'm an American, I have children here, I'm not at war with them, um, you know, and, and, and this is not accurate uh, to say that. Uh, the second thing is uh, they base the fatwa on the fact that uh, that uh, basically you being desperately in need uh, for something uh, uh, could make something that is unlawful lawful. Uh, now, uh, where is the desperate need here if you can rent? Um, you need a house, uh, now you can rent. Uh, you need a place to live at, you can rent and you can live of that and you're, you're better off. Uh, but then uh, our brother brought a very good argument which they use 
But Sheikh, you know, uh, the system here in America that uh, you could utilize the mortgage uh, to be tax deductible. But in America, we know rentals are not tax deductible. So at the end of the day, you end up paying money to uh, non-Muslims and so forth. I tell them, listen, we do not deal with the issues in this manner, okay? Uh, for me as a Muslim, uh, my agenda is the hereafter. I'm after the next life. I'm not after having a, a, you know, the, the American dream here, that I have a, this car and I have this owned house and I have this, this uh, so much money in the account. If this is what you're after, uh, then we're having an issue, okay? Uh, your job is to focus in, uh, uh, on uh, getting the hereafter. Uh, we're not here after becoming wealthy and, and rich, and uh, it, it's very, uh, it's it, it's really very uh, 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 sensitive that you speak like that, and they say, well, we have to strengthen the Muslim Ummah. So you're going to strengthen the Muslim Ummah at the expense of the disobedience of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and where do we get the strength from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Now our brother referred to the to the verse. Listen, if you do not you leave usury. If you do not leave usury, simply Allah is at war with you and his messenger. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqullaha wa dharu ma baqiya min al-riba in kuntum mu'mineen. Fa in lam tafa'alu fa'adhanu biharb min Allahi wa rasoolih. If you do not leave off usury, you are at war with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how in the world will you have a good life when you are at war with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Uh, why are we having problems in our homes? Why we're having a divorce rate that is skyrocketing in the Muslim world? Because you're living in a haram house to begin with. <laughs> the house that you live in uh, as a husband and wife is purchased through usury. And Allah is at war with you as a family. Come on, brothers. Come on, sisters. Let's pull to this together. At the end of the day, we as Muslims, we do not base our religion on jurists. Uh, I probably say some things on my show which are wrong. Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm a human being. Uh, I could reach the wrong conclusion. I could understand the text uh, the wrong way. At the end of the day, you're supposed to follow the messenger, not Kareem, not, uh, not the, 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 the jurist of North America. Everyone you can say no to him except the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Every individual, everyone you can say no to him. You can say no to me. If I tell you a wrong fatwa, I tell you, you tell me, you go to where you want to go to. I'm going to follow the messenger of Allah. I'm not going to follow you. And that attitude which a lot of Muslims do have, uh, which is, uh, we, we, we call it in the Muslim world, uh, boot it in, in the raqabat uh, alim mutla' salim, just place it in the neck of a scholar. So a person that he goes uh, and he asks this mufti, and then he asks this mufti, and he asks this mufti, he wants to get a specific answer which matches his desire, his whim. But he knows Absolutely. it's but he knows it's bad. He knows it's haram, and he keeps shopping around for a fatwa in order to get what he wants, in order to do it anyways. Listen, the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam made this clear: "Al ithmu ma haka fi al-sadr, wa khashita an yatali alayhi al-nas, wa in aftauka, wa in aftauka, wa in aftauka." Yeah, Subhanallah, I'm telling you, the people who even followed that fatwa which is the fatwa of the North America, whatever it is, buy homes through mortgage and so forth. The people who purchase their home, they still call other scholars, Sheikh, is that right or wrong? Why are you still asking? Because inside you, you know it's, it is wrong. And this is exactly what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, الْإِثْمُ مَا حَاكَ فِي الصَّدْرِ وَخَشِيْتَ أَنْ يَطَّنَ عَلَيْهِ النَّاسِ وَإِنْ أَفْتَوْكَ وَإِنْ أَفْتَوْكَ Jazakallah khairan, Dr. Hisham, we have to sign off, uh, so I have one more caller. Uh, we thank you. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, Sheikh Khalid. Jazakallah khair. Barakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.